time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. It's time to get this back to the video style. Did this what's it called dash avatar ver and and darwin's theory of evolution i'm always interested in this stuff i'm always interested in that you know uh i, I mean darwin number one a dar like you know I, I as a scientist you know have studied science i'm always interested in like evolution and all these things but like merging it with I don't know, even know what Dash Avatar is. I don't even know what that is. I definitely heard of Darwin before, so I was like, let me let me see what this is about. It's only five minutes. I thought we can watch it together. Y'all ready? Let's go. Life of Earth was not always as it is now. One of the most interesting topic for humanity has been the advancement of living species. How did life begin? How did the species evolve? I want to know what Both I science and religion. Seriously, have tried to answer religion, these questions merging. in several ways. Science states that human beings evolved from monkeys, but religion preach that God created human beings and sent them to earth. It may come as a surprise to many people, but the Indians explained Darwin's theory of evolution thousands of years before Darwin. The tenth incarnations so of Lord Vishnu or Dashavtar are an extraordinary record or the evolution of human life and the advancement of human civilization. Of Hinduism, the like oldest religion animals. in the world, and has a concept called Dashavtar. Dash it says that Lord Vishnu descends to earth in the form of an incarnation to restore the cosmic order. Oh, now you that. wonder why we are talking called. about Dashavtar and Darwin's theory oh, of evolution know, together. This is okay. because the two are surprisingly similar. Interesting, right? Lord Vishnu's ten incarnations include Matsya, Kurma, Varha, Narsimha, Vaman, Parshuram, Ram, Krishna, Buddha and Kalki. We will keep this video limited well, to the that, first six he's the last one, because right? the evolution of the species did not occur that. after that. At least not yet. Stage 1. Life started in the water. Mm. Proto. Amphibians who lived mainly in the water, this can be seen as the first stage of life. Look at those eyes. For example, prehistoric fish. Lord Vishnu's first avatar was Matsya. Lord Vishnu took the form of a fish to save Manu from massive flood. Darwin believed that water is the most essential ingredient in sustaining life mm, and that is where like life a, originated. A Stage 2. Mostly water. Life moved from water to the land. The earth Darwin is mostly said water. that the species then start coming out of water mm. and became okay. reptiles. Lord Vishnu's second avatar is Kurma. Kurma the means turtle. tortoise, oh, which is a reptile that? that walks on four legs. Everyone know that tortoise is a creature capable of living on land and water, which indicates the transition of life from water to land. Stage 3. Adapted to live on land. The next logical step in evolution had to be the ability to travel on land. To achieve this, the species began to develop legs, mm -hmm. the wild boar, the third incarnation like of Lord Vishnu. Look at this. It represents the birth of the mammal. You may ask, why the wild boar? Mm -hmm. Why not a deer or monkey or other mammals? The reason is that wild boar belongs to the Tsuina family, whose jaw or teeth are in front and therefore they do not need to swallow their food like we humans do. What it is it? extremely enlightening to note that Hinduism had such a very insightful knowledge oh, thousands of years ago. This? Stage 4. Transformation from animal to ape. Okay. Finally, primates evolved in intermediate species who were like the link between and animals and humans. But the their animal. brains were not yet fully developed. 
Narsimha's avatar had the characteristics of man and those of an animal. This may be similar to the species from which the first humans I mean, no, evolved. The man, interesting man. thing to note here is that Narsimha has the upper part of a lion's body but the lower part of a man's body. This is important because it relates directly to the so idea sense. of pre-human without a well-developed brain. But with the partial ability to become a bit, this may be an extinct human ancestor, like someone who could be the missing link between monkeys and humans. Stage 5 – Transformation from Ape to Human – Developed Intelligence The fifth avatar, Vamana, was a dwarf human being, visually oh. very similar to the sort of monkey species Damn from that. which humans evolved. Oh, if you look at like evolutionary that. charts, the oldest form of monkeys from which oh. humans evolved was in fact much like smaller in height that. than today's humans. Stage 6 – Forest Dweller – Humans Developed Stone Tools okay. The short monkey-like species ended up becoming what we call primitive man, Parshurama. Lord Vishnu's sixth avatar was very similar to this. Parshuram lived in, in the forest and used primitive weapons made of stone and wood like an axe, known for his anger and acting on a whim. In the story of evolution, all these are the traits commonly associated with primitive man who live in caves. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you like, I'm telling you, this is what intrigues me so much about the, the uh, you know, the religion, the Hinduism. And because, like I said, as a scientist, we have, you know, I, I believe you know, in evolution and things like that, you know? I mean, this is something I studied and definitely explains how human life was created. But it always contradicts things like, well, for us, like in the Bible, like Adam and Eve and just one day took the rib and, and, and there's man and things like that. And then they just tell you, I'm like, well, show us some like evidence of d d faith. That's what they tell us. It's just faith. Believe, just believe it. You, there's no evidence. You just have to believe it. <laughs> like kind of like that. We, the evidence is this book. We told you the story. But even like, but see what Hindu is, there's so much that links it. That we know, even what was it the, the with Ram and 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 when they made that stone bridge to to rescue the cedar. I mean that could be seen, you know, on, on the Google Maps. They said, you know, the, there's evidence of all of this, which makes it just even more. And even right now with the avatars, how it relates back to science and evolution. Oh, you don't have to just have with this blind faith i mean that's good too to have the faith and all but but there's like so much to back it up with it and that's what just intrigues me most about it. i'm like this is the oldest yeah you know the oldest stories what is mahabharata they say is like something like five thousand years old you know it's like some of the oldest scriptures there that they they have the old and then can be backed up with it with science oh all right I can go on and on because you know I'm I love me some science and then uh, now that I'm learning this stuff I can relate to it uh, I can go back and this right here they whoever whoever requested this thank you I enjoyed this one so much let me know what you think comments thumbs all that until next time mwah!